Welcome Renegades, um, so we are putting a quick video together for you guys um, because obviously you're all joining the last minute so I don't expect you to go back and read all the forum and watch like 20 different videos on how we put teams together and things like that so I thought I'd just do a quick summary video, it's going to be a couple of minutes of your time but it should give you a good understanding on what we're trying to offer as a league and um, how you can be part of that. So. I think the first thing I'm going to explain is how the team brackets work. Currently we do sort of time zones or timelines um, for our divisions. So seasons 1, 2 and 3 are in a time bracket. Season 4, 5 and 6 are in their own separate time bracket. And essentially you can't take a, a team from one bracket to another. So you could have a team uh, from season one, two, and three, uh, you could start a new team in season two and take it to two and three, or you could even start a new team in season three. But when season four happens, we are all starting fresh, all fresh TV teams. Um, so the start of each bracket will be an excellent opportunity for uh, new coaches to join, um, and it levels out the playing field. What we don't want is basically to have uh, a league that's dominated by kill teams, which means that new players joining the league just get their teams ripped up game one. Um, so we've tried to do like a good balance to allow the basher teams to develop, but you've got a set timeline on, on when you can actually uh, take use of that. So if you're taking a Nurgle team, for example, you're not taking Nurgle to win season one, you're taking it to win seasons two and three. Um, but at the same time, if you don't win it by season three, tough luck. You've got to start again uh, season four. So that that's what we'll be doing there. Um, this is season three, so this is the last season in our bracket. So once this season is done, the teams that you have now uh, and take through st uh, season three will not be going into season four. We'll all be starting fresh. That takes me on to the team creation. So. What we have allowed for Season 3 only, this will not happen uh, in the future, I don't believe, or it, it, it might do uh, if it's been successful, is um, custom teams at a team value of 1,250 gold. Now, the first million gold pieces, or first thousand TV, however you want to look at it, of your team creation. So make sure you buy your re-rolls, make sure you buy your players, Apothecary if you need it. The additional 250 are for skills. Now please don't see this as one pot of 1,250 gold. Um, they are two separate pots. So you cannot use money from your team creation pot to put extra skills on, for example, so that you know you can't do a no reroll build but take a, a bunch of extra skills, for example. So 250 for skills. 1,000 or a million, however you want to look at it, for building your team. There's some rules on team building as well. So for one, you're allowed one double um, in your team. Um, and you're not allowed any strength, stat, movement, agility, armor, um, or anything like that. The rest have got to be normal. So one double, the rest normals. Um, once you've done that, drop a message to myself, because I'll actually be the admin for this league, and I will get you a ticket sent out um, as soon as possible. And we're going to look to kick this off on uh, Sunday the, let me check the date, Sunday the 5th of July. So uh, you guys have got a few days to, to get this together uh, and get it out. One final thing I want to mention as well, guys, uh, mindful, don't want to take up too much of your time, is our bounty system. So we had a bounty system in the past where like, uh, every week on our weekly show, we do a weekly show, by the way, um, we would raise bounties on there and if you claim the bounty and you would you would get like a tag next to your name um, but I didn't think it was really that effective so what we've done this season is we are partnering up with a wildlife charity in the UK so <clears throat> if you'd like to place a bounty absolutely you can do that but you have to place a bounty so for example um, you could offer a, a minimum of five pound uh, donation to the animal charity um, 
you, we don't hold the money, obviously the money stays with you until the bounty is claimed. Once the bounty is claimed, we then expect you to make that donation and um, post evidence that we can put in our bounty thread. And it's just a nice thing we can do to try and help out uh, a local charity and also you know, it would be nice at the end of the season to go back and look and say, oh, we've raised like 40 or 60 quid or whatever for charity. Um, not everyone's in a position where they can do that, so the other, other way we will accept a, a bounty is to do a good local deed, and it can be just, you know, something as, as simple as, you know, clearing up a, a bit of the street or something like that, or helping out a neighbour. Again, post as some kind of evidence, or, you know, as, as much as you can, um, and we'll take that as, as the bounty reward as well, but as long as you're doing something good for the community, uh, we'll definitely accept that. So, yeah, that would be cool. That's something I'm really excited about doing. I've already placed a, a bounty. I know Art and Alex has placed a bounty as well. Uh, but make sure if you are if you want to place one, talk to an admin first, and then we'll get it uploaded on there for you as well. Um, thank you so much, guys. Really excited to have you as part of uh, the league. I know it's been a bit sort of rushed to put together. Um, you guys will get or the winner of your league will get a trophy. So the way that we're going to run the Renegades is the top two teams, because they, they we're, we're aiming on six coaches, the top two game uh, teams will play a final, and the winner will get a trophy of some kind. Um, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that as the season goes on. Um, and then after that season four, we will integrate all you guys into the main league as well. So thank you so much for, for taking part, and I'm really excited to get to know you guys as well. Oh, also... Follow me on Twitch. Thanks.